Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say, Kahala Yimla, Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Rahaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. Roshani Gabag, Gawala Rakup. All right, go over and I said that right, you know, and I basically was repeating what I said in English and Hebrew. You know, Lord willing, like I said, I said that right. But um, I was at work walking around and, um, you know, the, the spirit alerted me to a, um, a title. The title of this lesson is going to be, We Cannot Always See Our Own Spirits. Something to that effect. And uh, what brought this on is, you know, uh, some brothers have the spirit of discernment and are able to see certain things. Sometimes you can see a spirit on your brother or you can see a spirit on an individual. Okay, so like you. Okay, and you know, I saw this guy, this is guy that we work with, and I've been noticing a certain spirit on him, right? And um, I could just see it whenever he does anything. You know, I noticed like, okay, this guy, you see different spirits on people, you know, if that's a part of your uh, portion of the spirit. You know, and I thought to myself like, okay, I'm able to clearly see what spirit he has on him. You know, but then I thought to myself, well, what about the spirits that I deal with? You know, can I always see my own spirits? And the answer to that question is no. You can't always see the spirit that you deal with or the spirits, plural, that you deal with. And what I mean is everybody's plagued in this flesh by, um, you know, well, the lust of the flesh. All right. Whether it be um, con con concupiscence or concupiscence or con you know I say concupiscence but um you know whatever the case might be everybody has their things that they um struggle with man some brothers might be uh what's the word covetous of uh, or envious or uh you know greedy after gain or there's different things that we all deal with selfishness you know uh not always being brotherly and when we could be brotherly there's things we all deal with and we're not always able to see those things sometimes in our mind the sacrifice that we feel like we're making is enough to us okay but from the perspective of somebody else outside of our own head we can be brought to the uh brought to the knowledge of us not actually doing the things that we think we're doing or not actually or or may have a shortcoming that we're not aware of all right, so, you know, like I said, I just want to do this lesson of we cannot always see our own spirit or, or the spirits that we deal with, okay? And uh, just, you know, we have to be open to, it's something that Elder Yashawamba said. He said, if all the brothers in my camp come to me and they tell me they don't want to come to camp with me anymore, they don't want to uh, be around me anymore, then, you know, something ought to click to me to say, well, what am I doing wrong? You know, the scriptures say, <laughs> uh, the scriptures talk about removing the moat from your own eye. You know, it says you want to take the uh, the moat out of your brother's eye, but, but you got a beam in your eye. Okay, now what does that mean? Okay, a moat is a small amount. A beam is a large thing. So, you know, sometimes we can get in the, in the spirit of correcting a brother's small mistakes Whereas we have large mistakes that we're dealing with over here, okay? And, um, you know, everything's just, you know, coming through the spirit. I just uh, got to listen to Elder Yashawama's video about not lording ourselves over the flock of Yahweh by Shem Shai, you know, being good examples and things of that nature. You know, we have certain things that we um, deal with that we, you know, may need to repent from or whatever the case is where we can't, really afford to be too harsh you know on brothers you know what i'm saying all the time now like the elder said sometimes you do have to kind of you know um rebuke brothers you know what i'm saying and it's just a part of the ministry you know but for the most part you know as i said which is which vocab tried to bring out okay which, which uh, he read to say that it wasn't going to be you no know, uh slavery in the kingdom which is completely going off the scriptures say that we would have the heathen for our inheritance, okay? 
and that we will break them with a rod of iron. Okay, and it also said that we'll be fellow inheritors with Yahweh Shai. So if he's if he's received this of his father, as the scripture said, okay, <laughs> and and the and the man who endures is going to be fellow heirs with Yahweh Shai, then they're going to receive that a portion of that same gift that he received from his father. All right. So completely going off vocab. But anyway, uh, nevertheless, that's speaking about how we deal amongst ourselves, like the elder Yashabamba said, okay, that they would know, uh, know, know that we are of the Lord by the way that we love one another, okay? So we are supposed to have a certain amount of mercy, a certain, um, a certain amount of uh, understanding that we can't be too harshly judging on brothers. You know, the scriptures say, who are thou that judges another man's servant? You know, and this is not to make an excuse for anybody. If you uh, have something going on that you need to correct, if I have something going on that I need to correct, then it's not okay to make an excuse about it, okay? But we also, as uh, people in certain leadership positions, have to be mindful that we're not pushing a narrative that we feel on somebody when the most I haven't put that narrative on them. You know what I'm saying? And so we have to be careful about that. But going back to the main topic, okay sometimes you can't see the things that you deal with as clearly as somebody who's look outside looking in who knows you sometimes it takes somebody close to you who's dealt with you on an intimate level as far as uh, when i say intimate i mean a closely knit knowing you really type of situation you know what i'm saying sometimes that person has had certain because when certain things get involved in relationships like money or goods or anything like that then uh sometimes things feathers can get ruffled let me say true natures can come out of you know different things that may not be as desirable you know what i'm saying when dealing with brothers it's just different things that can happen okay so we have to be mindful let me see i forgot to put it on do not disturb something that you're doing is not really good then you should take heed and uh, at least consider you know whether or not it's true okay because if it's true then it's something we have to correct lest we be found you know in a bad position when you have by shame and child and that's not something that we want anyway it's hot out here man put this on for a little bit but anyway um that's pretty much all i want to do mindful that sometimes you can deal with something and you're aware of it and sometimes some of the things you can do you may think that you're not doing something that's that bad you know and then somebody else can really look at it and be like damn you got this problem and you have to come to terms with it and accept it of damn i do have that problem you know what i'm saying it's good. and a lot of times it, it could be true you know especially if it's coming from multiple sources you know or from somebody who truly knows you you know what i'm saying you know, just go through the spirit with it, you know what I'm saying, and take, you know, take it into consideration, because we're not perfect, especially in this flesh, man, none of us are perfect, we can't act like we are perfect, and that we're completely blameless, actually, in the flesh, see, the scriptures say, by the flesh will no man be justified, man, so, you know, you can't, you can't get yourself in this standpoint of thinking, I'm perfect, or I ain't do nothing wrong, you know what I'm saying, because the fact of the matter is, we have all done something wrong to offend somebody. We've all offended. We all fall short of the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And this is, that's why the Day of Atonement happens and we ask brothers to forgive us. And you know what I'm saying? We forgive brothers and uh, we, don't, we don't try to hold on to nothing like that because you know we, we all have moments where we can offend. You know, brothers got different spirits and uh, you know, sometimes we headbutt, you know, and, uh, and it ain't always that great. You know, the scriptures say, let brotherly love continue. We are supposed to continue to have brotherly love. You know, scripture say be kindly uh, affection toward one another. Okay, so you know we want to be mindful of these things, man, while we move forward. And um, just understand that if a brother comes to you through, through uh, scripture say open rebuke is better than secret love. If a brother comes to you, you know, pulls you to the side and tells you, hey, brother, I see you going the wrong way, or I see that you are dealing with this, you know, and uh, maybe you should ask other brothers if they see that. 
you know, you don't have to include that brother who said that in your in your uh, question, but you can ask another brother who you feel like you're close to and just be like, hey, brother, you know, um, somebody once said to me, man, that, uh, you know, I, I, I did this to them or they perceived me as this way. Uh, do you think I can be that way sometimes? You know, do, how do you feel about that? And maybe that brother will feel comfortable enough because everybody don't, Everybody don't feel comfortable enough telling you sometimes the shit that they may see that you may do that may offend them, okay? And then the scriptures kind of tell you not to rebuke the elder. So, you know, sometimes you have to ask, like, you know, hey, brother, you know, have, have, you know, have, how do you feel about this? And, you know, and maybe they'll be able to give you some insight on something that you could probably work on. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, like I said, this was more of a personal reflection type of thing. You know, as I saw that guy's spirit and I said... I said I'm, I'm correct on the way that uh, I've discerned his spirit, all right, but then I thought about what about my own discernment of my own spirit? <laughs> how, to, how, to, how would somebody else with discernment look at me, you know, and, and what would they say about me, knowing that I'm not perfect? So anyway, that's going to be the end of the lesson, man. I got to get back in here. I call her long and lie. You how about you? You how about you? I'm going to call her I'm honestly the apostle of the elder of the great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations. To the whole family back with that, I want to say shout out to my mom.